Welcome back to the series where I test the old school RuneScape wiki's money making methods. And if you like these videos, feel free to check out the playlist in the description box down below. But with that being said, let's jump into today's video. Welcome to season 8 of Test Noah Sire's wiki money making methods. And today's money maker is going to be killing jobsters. The only requirements you need to be able to do this method are the following. First and foremost, you'll need to have completed the Tower of Life quest as this will give you access to the Tower of Life basement. Secondly, I would recommend for you guys to have at least level 70s in your combat stats. This is so we can kill these jobsters effectively. To be honest, you could probably kill these with lower combat levels, but you might need to bring a bit of food along with you. But now let's go over my gear and inventory. For my gear in this video, it is on screen and I will just run through it for you all now. First of all, I have both the Bandos chest plate and the Bandos tassets. Running alongside that, I'm using a Nate is not face guard, an amulet of torture and a fire cape. My weapons of choice for this video is the Abyssal Whip and a Dragon Defender. And rounding out my gear for this video is a pair of Primordial Boots, a pair of Ferocious Gloves and a Berserker Ring in view. For my inventory, all I have is a rune pouch, and this has law, air and fire runes in it. This is so I can teleport to a bank. And to get back from the bank, I am using my Ardorn cape, as this will take me to the monastery, which is very close by. I also have 12 raw lobsters and 12 raw jubilees. And finally, rounding out my inventory, I have one single super attack and one single super strength. But now let's go over some information about this method. These jobsters was first added into the game on the 19th of February 2007 and you can gain access to this area once you have completed the Tower of Life quest. Players can create jobsters in the creature creation in the basement of the Tower of Life. A jobster is a hybrid of a lobster and a jubbly bird. There is six different monsters that can be created in this basement and I will just list them off for you now and what resources you need to be able to make each one. In the northeast area of the basement you can find an altar where you have to place a eye of newt and a feather this will make a newt roost which has a combat level of 19. if you are wanting to use the altar in the northwest side of the basement then you will need to use a cowhide and a unicorn horn on it this will make a level 25 uni cow in the southeast altar you can use a red spider egg with a raw sardine and this will spawn a spideen and this creature will be level 42. At the southwest altar a sword chick can be spawned if you use a raw swordfish and a raw chicken and this creature is level 46. And for the monster we are killing in this video, a jubster can be created on the altar which is in the east side of the basement and you will need to use a raw jubbly and a raw lobster on this altar. And the final creature that can be made in this basement is a frog eel and this can be made by adding a raw cave eel and a pair of giant frog legs to the altar and this altar is located at the west side of the basement. As we are creating and killing jubsters, then we will be using the altar on the east side of the basement. And once you have placed both of the resources on the altar, and after you have activated it, then the humunculus in the dungeon will create the creature. And finally, did you know that killing these jubsters is a much quicker and a more effective way of obtaining raw jubblies than hunting the jubbly birds? But with that being said, let's jump on over to the final price check so we can see how much money this method has earned us and then we can see how much money will be given away in today's video. Only 4% of you who are watching these videos are subscribed, so if you aren't already, smash that sub button so you can be notified when new videos are going live. Hello and welcome to the final price check of killing these jubsters. So here in my event is all of the jubbly meat we managed to get back from this video and we managed to get 918 raw jubblies and that comes out to be I'm pretty sure we managed to get it says here 180 kills over this one hour so that's not actually too bad at all to be fair. So now let's uh, throw the picture on screen so then we can see how much we paid for our investment and then we can see how much money we'll be giving away in this video. So now the calculator is on screen, we paid 109 coins each for the lobsters and 553 coins each for one raw jubbly. We used 180 of them, so if we go ahead and times 180 by 109, which was the price of one lobster, that comes out to be 19,620 GP. We'll go ahead and copy that 
and then if we go ahead and type in 180 times that by the price we paid for a single jubilee which was 553 that comes out to be 99,540 then we'll go ahead and add in the price for the lobsters and that will bring us out to be 119,160 and here in my invent as well is some more supplies we used we used a super strength and a super attack we only used three doses of that and we also used seven monkfish let's go ahead and add in all of the other supplies we used and that comes out to be 8,313 so we now go ahead and add that in the calculator so our total investment for this video was 127,473 GP and if we go back to the price check and then we can decide to go ahead and throw in all of our raw jubblies we managed to get back from this video which was 918 so one hour of killing jubsters comes out to be 503,064 GP so now we jump back to the calculator and type that into 503064 and then we go ahead and take away the investment for this video which was 127,473 and that will leave us with our profit and the amount we are giving away in this video so our profit for this video is 375,591 GP and like always that money will be going away to one of you guys. So now let's jump on over to the spinning wheel so we can see who'll be taking away this money. If you guys want, you can join my clan chat for all the latest updates and to know when new videos are going live, just like this one you're watching right now. Welcome to the spinning wheel. We currently have 22 entries and we don't have any new entries from the previous video. So let's just go ahead and just shuffle this a few times and then we will go ahead and now spin this wheel. And today's winner of all profits is going to be, it looks like it is going to be all Verac. So congratulations to you, you are today's winner of all profits and to claim your winnings all you have to do is message me in game. My in game name is BROSRS, it is the exact same as my YouTube name. But now let's jump on over to the moneymaker leaderboard so we can see where this moneymaker ranks. Welcome to the Moneymaker leaderboard. On this leaderboard I rank the moneymakers after I tried them and I split it into four columns. The first column is for the method I was using. The second column is for the money this method has earned me. Column three is for the order the video is ranking compared to the order I release the videos in. And column four is for difficulty. As if they are hard to do, they will rank it as red hard. And likewise, if they are easy to do, then I will rank it as green easy. And for any other methods that fall in between both of these, these will be ranked as yellow medium this is for my medium tier so today's money maker was killing jubsters and this made us a profit of 375,591 gp this is episode 11 on season 8 and this again is near the middle stack of our money maker there's only a few k between each one again for this money maker i ranked it as medium that is because yes you can do it when you get to like level 70 combat but it is a lot easier the higher combat level you are because even when i was doing this money maker you could see that it was still hitting me fair enough it wasn't hitting me a decent amount but let's say i was 20 or 30 levels lower than what i was i would need food to do this money maker and that is why i ranked it as medium instead of ranking it as easy to do and today's winner was all verac so congratulations to you once again and to claim your winnings like i said just message me in game but i hope you guys have all enjoyed this money maker and if you have enjoyed please like comment and subscribe it really will help this channel grow let me know some more money makers you'd like to see here on the channel in the near future i have been ben and i will catch you in the next money maker goodbye if you guys are looking around for your newest game, make sure to check out cdkeys.com because they have the cheapest CD keys available on the internet for pretty much every game, even new releases. I'll drop a link down below if you guys want to check them out.